Believe it or not, back in the day, I was a DJ. And while that dream did not come true, hopefully your dream of becoming a DJ is just starting. And if you're trying to ball on a budget and only spend a little bit of money on some nice over-ear headphones for mixing some sick beats, well, you have come to the right place. And I hope your dream comes true, just like ours of becoming YouTubers. Go click that subscribe button today for all you aspiring DJs out there or people just looking for a decent set of headphones at a low price. We have the Moki MMH-1 over ear DJ headphones. Stick around to see if they're worth the $27.88. If you're thinking to yourself, wow, that name Moki really rings a bell. That could be because you watched our previous video reviewing the Moki microphone for your smartphone or DSLR camera. And that we were very pleased with because at a cheap cost, it was very high quality. Let's see if these headphones match up. Again, only $27.88 as of now. Link in the description below helps support 3411 Heaven Media. You can too have these headphones. We open it up. Slightly cut the tape and try not to cut my hand. And I'm really happy they put tape because not a lot of Amazon sellers put tape on their boxes anymore. Before we fully open it up, there are some stats on the back that we should note. These have 40 millimeter drivers. There is a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, an impedance of 32 ohms, sensitivity to 110 decibels plus or minus three decibels, rating power of 30 milliwatts or max power of 300 milliwatts, two types of plugins, ear cushions for free, and aluminum voice coil, which was imported from Japan. And that's one thing they really harp on in the ad is that their driver was imported from Japan, which I assume would mean increased quality. I don't know, we'll see. We open it up and there are on top some directions. There's a VIP club, products move the world. Interesting. Put that aside. One ear cup, another ear cup, cables, and the headphones. Directions. Interesting. Hi-fi sound, which I don't actually think has a standard definition of what that means other than the fact that it means high fidelity sound. Hopefully that's right. Jack, correct me if I'm wrong. And that's what they're claiming. They also tell audiophiles that end up buying these headphones, which I don't know if audiophiles will buy these headphones, to correct them if they're wrong by emailing their customer support team. One thing I noticed right away is that these can adjust pretty much every which way. And while you're a DJ trying to mix those sick beats, you're probably gonna do the little, little like thing where you mix in, and these can do that. There are points for the headphones ports, not points, ports for the headphones on each side. And what this means is you can obviously transfer the cable from one side to the other. At least that's what I think it means. I'll test it out. But also you can actually loop through the headphones and out the other side to share with a friend, which if you own the Beats, I think pro headphones, I did way back in the day. I met a guy from Craigslist at a mall with my mom because I was like 12 to buy them. They also had that feature and I thought that was really cool. Speaking of cords, because, you know, sharing with your friend, I don't know if that's the thing you'll do. This includes two cords. The one is a smaller cord that does have a microphone on it. And this is, I'm gonna guess, does it say how many feet this is? What's the footage on these cords? Doesn't say how long there. Maybe it does in the end. How long is the cord? All right, so since I'm not actually able to find the length of this cord, this is just the cord that includes the microphone for talking on your phone if you want to do that. I don't know if you're actually going to want to do that with these headphones, so I'm just going to set it aside there. But the big cord, which I really enjoy because it has the springy portion of cord here, is just under 10 feet. At least that's what it says in the ad. See, this springy part, that just brings me joy. But cord has one big feature that may make a difference on whether you buy these or not. Well, actually, it would just be an added bonus for buying these is that not only does it have the 3.5 millimeter input, but it comes with an adapter that allows this to go into a quarter inch, which would be pretty standard on audio equipment, such as an amplifier or your DJ mixing board. I know mine was. You take that and then you plug it into whichever side of the headphones you choose and then put them on. And these are highly adjustable. Why? Because the ear cups move not only a little bit forwards, but also fully flip and then you can actually, is there a right and a left? <laughs> Had it backwards. 
and you can pull it down. These are a little stiff on the sides to pull, but these are aluminum. The actual, like, this portion of it is plastic, and I will say the noise is a bit isolated, so I might be screaming right now, I really don't know. The ear cups on the side are a fake leather with a foam material, and I will say that once you get them adjusted, it's not that bad. You Pretty comfortable. Feels like a suction cup on my ears. Now let's actually do a sound test. Not that I am an audiophile by any means, nor will I proclaim to be so. So we take the cord, we plug it in, and then let's play a jam. And if you're wondering what song I'm listening to, well, it's obviously Kesha because, you know, I went to one concert from her and TikTok is just a bomb. So here we go. Let's Okay, I had my fo volume fully up. There's an ad for Pampers. Guess I'm having a kid soon and bounty, which means I'm messy. Skip the ads, come on YouTube. Oh, okay. The intro, very ominous. All right, so I listened to this for pretty much the whole song now and I've formed my opinions on the audio. Um, I really like the way the vocals sound. Like, they sound very natural, much better than the earbuds. But speaking of earbuds, I was hoping for more bass. I guess I'm used to putting on headphones like these and getting the Beats experience where it's just overpowered bass. And that's why people buy Beats, not necessarily because of the audio quality, but because they like bass. If you're looking for something that has decent sound at a low price, I think these would be the headphones for you. By the way, I have to test this out to see if it works on both sides. Okay, so it does work from both sides. So, there you have it. They look pretty good. Construction is pretty decent. They are plastic, but for what you pay, it's hard to beat, man. I don't know. Extra ear cups if you get sweaty ears, which I hope you don't, and they just pop off like so. You just turn them to the left and there you go. Moki. Headphones. Link below if you want to buy them. If not, that's okay. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to drop a like on this video. And don't forget to click that subscribe button because we're so close to a thousand. We're so close. Or maybe we're at a thousand by the time this came out. I don't know. But right now, we're like 176 away. And you could make it less. We'll see you in the next one, folks. As always, bird up.